You're probably aware Outcast boats are built and designed to provide you with years of on the water enjoyment. However, like anything, they can get dirty. Have you ever wondered how to clean your Outcast boat? Join me, I'll show you just how easy it is. Hello everyone, I'm Phil Rowley and welcome to another Outcast video tip. Today I'm going to show you just how easy and simple it is to clean your Outcast boat. Outcast boats are built to a durable, high quality standard, made out of two primary materials. Nylon, like on this float tube, and PVC, like on this pontoon boat. They're both easy to clean, we use the same procedure. Now the materials to clean these products are simple. They're probably laying around your house already. You're going to need some mild dish soap, a bucket of hot water, a toothbrush to clean the zippers, and for stubborn stains, a little cleaning pad like this magic eraser. That's all you need. You want to stay away from any abrasive, caustic chemicals. There's a couple other things you want to keep in mind as well to keep your outcast boat in tip-top shape. Be very careful with other chemicals such as sunscreen and in particular bug juice. Bug juice in particular is particularly hard on the fabric used in your outcast boats. So these are both materials or products rather that you want to put on while you're on shore and leave them there if at all possible. Even if they leak into the pocket of your boat, they can do some severe damage. So now let's show you just how easy it is to clean a float tube or this pontoon boat. So let's start with the float tube. First of all, you're going to take your sponge or cloth and that bucket of soapy water and give the boat a good overall wash. If you've got any stubborn stains or blemishes, you can take that magic eraser pad and give them that little bit of extra attention. Next comes the zippers. You're going to take your toothbrush and you're going to take the soapy water and scrub those zippers back and forth to clean out any dirt. Never use any zipper lubricant because that can attract dirt and pull them right into the zippers. Soapy water and a toothbrush is all you need. Once the boat is washed and clean, give it a hose off and your boat is clean and ready to go. So now let's clean this pontoon boat. Cleaning this PVC fabric is no different than the nylon base float tube. You're going to give it a bath with some warm soapy water using a cloth or a sponge. If you've got any stubborn stains or blemishes, you're going to give them a scrub with that magic eraser. Then you're going to take your toothbrush, dip it in your soapy water and scrub those zippers. And just like the zippers on a float tube, Never use any zipper lubricant because that will actually attract dirt and pull it into the zipper. Once you've got your boat all clean and spick and span, hose it off, let it dry, and then put it away so it's ready for your next on the water adventure. Your outcast boats, whether it's a float tube like this one or a pontoon boat, are designed and built using the highest quality materials designed to provide you with years of on the water enjoyment. But hopefully you've seen just how easy they are to clean. A little bit of soap and water, a cleaning pad, and a toothbrush are all you need to keep your boat looking clean and ready to go for years to come. I hope you've enjoyed today's Outcast video tip. If you want more information on the products used in this video, please visit the Outcast Boats website at outcastboats.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next tip.